Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Unity events in your own projects and games. So I have taken an example of Godwa game. So here you can see there is a uh, axe uh, throwing and uh, pulling back. Uh, so you can see there is only two frames that will happen the attaching of X to his hand and the attaching of X. So uh, I don't know what they have used in God over game, but uh, we can uh, achieve this uh, using unity events inside the unity game engine. So uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you uh, not this scenario, but I'm going to show you how you can use unity events, uh, how you can implement uh, unity events uh, in your games in any kind of scenario. So in this video, I'm going to just taking a simple example, footstep sounds. So here I have created a game object called uh, audio manager and uh, attached audio source and uh, uh, audio clip to it and I'm just going to create an script called uh, audio manager uh, and uh, uh, this script will handle uh, sounds and uh, uh, another script that is uh, uh, player sound that will handle all of so uh, all the sounds of the player so the footstep sound uh, is um, played whenever uh, uh, player foot is uh, on the ground uh, uh, touch to the ground so audio manager class is going to be a singleton class so I'm going to just create a singleton class so singleton is nothing just a class that is globally accessible and instantiated only once and uh, uh, I'm checking if instance is null then we need to create one and uh, we don't want to destroy this on load and uh, also i'm grabbing the reference of audio source and in else statement we um, destroy this game object if uh, another audio manager is uh, already exist in the scene so uh, i'm just going to check this uh, uh, background music is working or not so Okay, cool. So this is really cool sound effect. I really like that. Now background music is working fine. We don't have done uh, anything yet. Uh, so let me show you uh, how you can create events, uh, animation events. So inside uh, my FBX files, I have already created uh, uh, animation events. Uh, so uh, to show you, I'm going to uh, delete uh, some event in this uh, running forward animation. So I'm just going to just delete this and uh, uh, recreate uh, that uh, events at a particular frame so this frame is uh, looks good and uh, here the name of the function is really very important because we are going to use this uh, function name inside of our script so make sure you copy that name or uh, spell it right inside your script so uh, another frame where where our feet uh, where the foot of the player is uh, on the ground so let's hit apply and uh, these are the events which we have created and I have already created uh, uh, other events inside uh, uh, all these animations all the running animations okay so I'm not going to show you that again because I don't want to waste your time so let's uh, uh, attach our scripts onto these game objects audio manager to audio manager and uh, and uh, one thing uh, make sure you can uh, uh, you drag your player sound script onto this uh, particular game object because this is the player app px so the animator is attached onto it so if you do not uh, drag this game of uh, the script onto the 
game object that will have animator on uh, on that uh, particular uh, uh, game object so uh, that's how it works if you do not uh, drag your uh, uh, script object then it will not work okay uh, i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so um, i'm just uh, creating here and serializable field that will uh, that uh, will be an uh, array of audio clips so we need some variety in our footsteps so that's why i have created this uh, uh, array of audio clips so uh, inside this function i'm just calling uh, audio manager instance and uh, uh, audio source that we have created inside uh, audio manager and uh, going to call uh, play once shot so that will play one shot at uh, that particular frame so in uh, our uh, audio footstep uh, array we need to pick a random sound so I'm just going to use uh, the random function of unit engine so random to uh, range and we can assign a range from zero to whatever range we are uh, we are going to use so that will be the length of the array so the last uh, uh, value will not be called in this function so so this is our footstep function as you can see now uh, Let's check this function is working or not. Okay, so sound effect is not working. Uh, I think I have done something wrong so let me check these errors okay okay uh, we didn't uh, assign any kind of sound effect how how the sound effect will work so uh, silly mistake so uh, and I have done another mistake so uh, the event I have added uh, uh, recently that uh, footstep and uh, in uh, other uh, abx files I have uh, uh, created uh, footsteps so uh, I have to change this to footsteps so that uh, one mistake I need to uh, correct so as you can see here I have write it down footsteps and uh, uh, here I write footstep so that is the second mistake I have done in that fx file that uh, running forward animation fx file so now let's hit play and check yes our footstep sound is working fine cool great uh, I think we also need to add a uh, grounded sound also whenever our player is uh, grounded after jumping then we need to play a sound uh, inside uh, animation controller there is a function that will call whenever our uh, is uh, grounded after jumping so let me copy this line of code because uh, I'm going to use that uh, inside the audio manager class so just change this name to sound uh, jump sounds and uh, I'm going to create a function that will call whenever uh, uh, our player is uh, grounded after jumping so let me copy this line of code so and uh, change this to uh, jump sounds and we done in this uh, particular class so now inside our uh, animation controller script we need to check if a value is true then we need to call that function 
uh, audio manager dot instance dot uh, uh, jump sound effects as simple as that okay now let's hit play and check okay sorry sorry i <laughs> again forget it to apply uh, uh attach the sound effects so let me find these uh, sound effects so there we have so uh, these these are very cool sound effects uh, these assets i will provide the link in side description box so you can check them out so okay as you can see our uh, sound effect is working fine and uh, our grounded function is also called whenever we are grounded so hope you like this video uh, if you learned something new please make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel this will really help me out and i will really appreciate you so thank you for watching uh, see you in the next video bye bye